Once upon a time, there was a child named Lena, who was always getting into trouble. Everywhere Lena went, trouble followed. At school, at home with her mother, and with the neighborhood kids. Lena did not seem to feel bad when she did something wrong. She was always anxious about everything. During tests, when teachers explained things that Lena did not understand, or if her mom or other kids either tried to explain something or have a conversation with her, Lena would get upset. As a result, Lena's grades were very bad, and most children did not like her. Most of the time, Lena responded by hitting, pushing, or yelling because she did not know how to control herself. Lena felt very sad because she did not understand why she did not have a father like other children. She lived with her mother, who was never home, so she hung out with other troublemakers. One day, a pearl appeared, and it seemed to be trying to tell Lena something. The pearl would talk and talk, but Lena could not understand what the pearl was trying to tell her. Lena started getting very anxious because she could not understand the talking pearl. But the pearl did not leave her alone. The pearl wanted Lena to follow her, so she did. The pearl led her to one of the houses in the neighborhood. As she approached the house, she saw a woman who was near the front door. Lena started feeling nervous because this was a house where she had destroyed some of the plants and had thrown trash in the front yard. She had heard that this old lady was a superhero and everybody called her Gui. Gui was very happy to see Lena and she gave Lena a big hug. Lena remembered that she waved to everybody, including her, when she walked to school. Gui seemed so friendly that Lena thought she could not possibly know that it was Lena who had destroyed her plants and thrown trash in her yard. Gui sat down on her porch and invited Lena to sit next to her. Once Lena was sitting next to her, she asked Lena, What can I do for you? Lena looked at the woman and thought, what can this woman do for me? She also thought that the lady was probably crazy, so she decided to laugh. Lena asked, can you bring my father back? No, she said. Lena also asked, can you give me things such as toys, a car, or money? No, she responded again. Can you punish the people who have hurt me? They have called me names, made fun of me, and have laughed at me. No, she responded again. But I can help you learn how to control your stress. Lena wondered how Gui could know that she felt anxious and stressed all of the time. To control her stress, Gui taught Lena a breathing exercise. Let all the air in your lungs out. Then take a deep breath through your nose while counting to four. Hold that breath for a count of seven before exhaling through your mouth for a count of eight. While you exhale, you can hear the sound of the air through your nose. Repeat this breathing exercise four times. If you remember to do this every time you are about to lose control, you will be able to control yourself much better. Gui told Lena that by controlling herself, she would have a better chance to learn many new interesting things at school. Lena's mother would have more time to have nice conversations with her if Lena would stop screaming and getting into trouble all the time. Lena could help her mother by doing chores. That way her mother would have more time to be with Lena when she came home from work. 
They could read books together. If Lena spent more time studying and doing her homework, she would learn many things that are very important for her to succeed in school. Gui told Lena that her mom loves her, but that she needs to work in order to support Lena. Therefore, Lena could help her mother by having good grades and by not getting into trouble. By doing her homework and helping out around the house, Lena and her mother will have quality time to spend doing things together, like taking walks and other fun things. From that day on, Lena learned to control her stress, and she felt better. After a walk with her mother, Lena was amazed to discover that her stress had gone away, and that it felt good to spend quality time with her mother. Her grades improved, and she made great friends. Things did not seem so bad all the time, and even though she did not have her father with her. She found out how lucky she was to have her mother, who loved her so much.